<laughs> so, hello from Essex, I'm Christy. And I'm Edzia. And I think the watchword right now is tired. Yeah. Tired. We're exhausted. Really getting, yeah, exhausted is actually a better word than tired. Because it's, um, I think the, the wear of just being on the road has gotten to us. Um, but the one thing I have to say that we've managed is, even though we've basically been living in each other's pockets for two weeks, we haven't had a fun. Yeah, even the camera, Mike is getting tired. <laughs> but generally, let's see. So um, Birmingham was the last thing, and then we got on a train the next day and came to Colchester and got settled in. And Monday started to try to fill up our five groups for recruitment, which was a lot. But we're doing really well. Yep. So we have, actually, we have about four groups worth. The four groups are not completely filled. But we have enough to have four groups of uh, parts of focus group participants, um, and then the fifth group, of course, is the Clacton group. But I guess we should talk about that <laughs> separately. <laughs> separately. Yeah. Um, yeah. What our goal was theoretically was to try to get at least eight people from each constituency. But Clacton, one, it's a bit farther away from the university. It's kind of it's, you've got to take a bus that takes a half hour or a train that takes 20 minutes. And so even though we've done some stuff locally, we're finding it very difficult to recruit UKIP voters to talk about the election. So what we've ended up doing to get some data in at least is I've, uh, I went into, uh, well, we went together to Clacton, but I flyered and there was a, a business that had a UKIP sign. So I approached the owner of the business to do an interview and also went to the UKIP headquarters in Clacton to talk to them about encouraging their activists to get involved so that we could get some data down. And the argument that I made was we have people from the SNP, we have Plaid Gunnery, we've got green voters, but what we don't have a lot of our UKIP voters and so we want to make sure that those voices are part of our data set and part of our study and to encourage them to participate or to spread the word that way. But at the moment, it looks more like I'm going to be doing interviews rather than focus groups, which uh, is at least data. So that's something that um, we should note for future. The other thing too, though, is that you know, for all the hype about UKIP, there's really only three seats that they're kind of playing in. And the an analysis I saw last night kind of predicts anywhere between two, zero and two seats no, there's definitely total. one. But yes, so, so the Clacton one is actually a surety. Yeah, we're thinking that's very, very safe. Yeah. Um, but like in, in comparison to say SNP, um, SNP is going to have way more seats than UKIP at the end of this. But we still felt it was important to try to get those voters represented in the data set. Yeah. Um, in terms of the other recruitment, I mean, we just followed the usual procedures and it has worked fine. So. Uh, Christy must have mentioned at some point in the previous vlogs about uh, panel uh, participants from the 2010 study uh, and our invitation to them to come back. So we actually have managed to get um, about six, I think, six to seven participants from the 2010 Colchester focus groups back again. And I bumped into somebody who was part of the 2005 panel at the co-op in Wivenhoe. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, hey, what are you doing this week? You want to be part of a focus group again? She, yeah. yeah, sure, give me the details. Uh, and she signed up. Yeah. So we even have one person from 2005 coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Which is insane. Yeah. And uh, we've sent stuff out for Strathclyde, so the next big target is, while we're sitting here um, fa finalizing people for this week, is to, um, we've been tweeting things out, putting out the press releases, and organizing the blog registration for the Glasgow participants as well. So it never ends. It never when one thing's done, you already have to be yeah, on, to the next. on to the next. But once Strathclyde is done, actually we'll have a bit of breathing room because with the high retention rate that we've had and the fact that people are quite happy about participating and they want to come back to the post, we are already filled up <laughs> we've already filled up the Dundee pre and post. <laughs> Dundee we are still waiting for one pre. But we filled up the post. I mean, we filled 16 places uh, in Dundee for the post, which is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, we also predict that um, oh, Cardiff is going very well in terms of our retention. Um, and those people that we did select, we haven't heard back from. We've got enough window of time to fill their spots in case they don't get back to us. And I would imagine, again, in Colchester, we're going to have 24 deep 
or so in terms of active participants so we should have really no problems getting a full panel for 100% uh, like retention here as well. Um, yeah, so I mean our exhaustion is paying off. Mm. Like it is actually translating into data and participants so uh, we knew that this was going to be the hardest week of the study. And Did we? <laughs> I, when I looked at the calendar, I went, okay, Birmingham to Colchester, and then before, well, it was only going to be four focus groups. Yeah. And then it turned into five focus groups. So it might end up being four again because the Clacton thing may not go ahead. Yeah, then, so the Clacton thing didn't go ahead, so it becomes four plus um, interviews. interviews. Um, but it's still all for the data. We did it all for the data. I think this has, must be a song in there. <laughs> <laughs> I would do anything for data. Except do five more focus groups. <laughs> <laughs> the punch drunk as well. <laughs> like, yeah. Getting a little bit silly. Uh, but yeah, I think that's kind of where things are. So yeah. More so, after we are, oh, we're running two focus groups tonight. Today, and then one tomorrow and then one on Thursday night. So I'm not sure if we're going to block tomorrow. Probably not. Probably till. after the leaders debate. I think we'll probably kind of give general impressions of the four focus groups and the Clacton. Yeah. Thing. Maybe on the train back on, on Friday. On the train back. Yeah, yeah, probably. If we're not too like, <laughs> and if, if we can actually, I can be bothered to sort of wash my face and brush my teeth and brush my hair at that point. <laughs> and I show up in my pajamas, going, "Here's my ticket. I don't care anymore." <laughs> okay. So, yep, that's our update, and we will keep you guys updated to how things went, kind of wrapping up the pre and looking, aho looking ahead to Strathclyde at the end of um, uh, yeah, May Day or that weekend. So, from Essex, I'm Christy. And it's you. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.